So I had way too many bananas left from my Nutella banana cake recipes. I mean, that was a whole entire month of just bananas, right? So I still have bananas. So I figured, what about the Thanksgiving with a banana pie with a peanut butter crust? Two of Matt's favorite things. And I can use my leftover peanut butter cookies. Sounds easy enough, right? What could possibly go wrong? And in general, if you do a glutinous banana pie, you just can crumb some butter and some eggs and then bake a crust and butter, but it looks a bit funny. It's way too soft and I'm like, eh, this is not good. Anyway, I proceeded and decided I'm still going to make this banana pie and add the filling and uh, I forgot to add the bananas to it. So yeah, I have to literally put my hands now into the pie filling to add my bananas. Then what you normally do is you put the banana pie into the fridge and let the filling harden up before you decorate it with heavy whipped cream. Guess what happened to me? So here is my banana pie which did not turn out. You see how shaky this is? This is not what should be happening to a banana pie. I have no clue what I did, but I apparently did something wrong. So. I'm gonna have to do it again. I also not gonna use this time leftover peanut butter cookies, but I'm gonna start from scratch. And I'm gonna make quick my peanut butter cookie dough as the bottom to my banana pie. I'm going to use one third of my tart crust flour combination, a quarter cup of sugar, a quarter cup of dark brown sugar, one egg. I'm going to omit the baking powder because I don't really need my cookie crust to rise in this case. A little bit of salt, a little bit of peanut butter, a third cup and a third cup of butter. And I'm going to quickly mix it. So here's the dough and I'm going to let it rest like I do with the tart crust or any other crusts and then I'm going to put it into my pie form. So here's my rested peanut butter cookie dough and I'm going to roll it out now and put it into my pie pan. So here's my rolled out peanut butter cookie dough and I'm going to flip it now into my pie pan. And I want it to be a little bit of a thicker crust, so it's okay to use some of the extra peanut butter dough. And the dough is a little bit sticky, so I'm going to use some of my pie crust or tart crust flour, just so that the dough doesn't stick to my hand. So one thing I want to do before I pop it into the oven is stab it with the fork. And I'm going to put the crust now into the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. And while the crust is cooling down, I'm going to start now preparing the banana pie filling. So I want to slice the bananas for the banana pie. And I'm going to prepare the pudding itself now. And let's hope I'm not going to mess it up this time. So I'm going to measure 150 grams of sugar. Well, oh, that's a little bit more than 150. I'm going to measure a quarter cup of cornstarch, which is about four tablespoons. But I'm going to make it five tablespoons. And I'm going to add also a pinch of salt or a quarter teaspoon. I'm also going to measure two cups of milk and heavy cream. Actually, I'm going to do half half. I'm going to do half a cup of milk and half a cup of heavy cream. And I'm going to whisk in the milk and the heavy cream and I'm going to heat it up. And I want to continue stirring the milk the heavy cream and the cornstarch until the milk is thickening up. I can feel now how the milk is thickening up. I'm going to pull it off the heat. I'm going to crack now three eggs. I'm 
I'm gonna add the mixture back into the pudding. Add one tablespoon of vanilla extract and heat it up. You wanna keep on stirring the pudding until it gets really thick and heavy again. Okay, that feels nice and thick again. And I'm gonna pull it off the stove. I do like homemade pudding. So here's my finished peanut butter crust. And I won't forget this time to put the bananas in. Okay, so that's about two bananas. And then I want to pour the vanilla over it. So I'm going to let the pie sit now and cool down. And apparently I made too much pudding, which, oh, that's so sad. Um, because I just have to make with that a little bit more of a banana dessert. And Matt loves bananas. Just took out my banana pie from the fridge and yes, the filling did finally set correctly. I do want to decorate now my banana pie and for that I have to whip 750 grams of heavy cream and I'm going to beat the heavy cream until it's stiff. And I'm going to fill now one of my piping bags with heavy whipped cream. Start piping rosettes onto the top of my banana pie. And here is my finished banana pie with heavy whipped cream. And just look at that. The filling is set. The heavy cream is on the top of it. It looks delicious. Just ready for Thanksgiving or any nice warm day, assuming you are in a nice warm place right now. I hope you enjoyed today's show. And if you did, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and check the bell to get notifications about any upcoming videos. And if you have any comments, feedback, ideas which I can try out, please make sure to add them below in the comment box. And I see you next week. Bye.